we're going to talk about how to save money on maintenance costs in the trucking world and whether it's going to be cheaper to do it yourself or to be able to do it at a shop. I called my the you know a couple of the big three or big five, whatever you want to call them, and I got some uh, quotes for what it's going to cost on a PM service. So we're just going to base this on just a basic PM and just kind of like the 101 level of maintenance on our trucks. Let's jump into this and let's talk about saving money on some maintenance and let's get some numbers going, y'all. Come on, let's talk about the numbers. Drop a like down below and a comment if y'all like hearing about some numbers without, you know, I'm not a math wizard and trucking is a numbers game. So let's do it. All right, so how can we save money on maintenance? Well, you might ask me, well, hey, Joe, what if I don't know anything about uh, maintenance on my truck? Well, it's time to learn because we're wasting money giving it to some of these over-the-road shops. And at the end of the day, trucking's about how much you bring home, not how much you give away. So let's talk about this right now. So what does it cost at a shop? Ye old loves that everybody loves to go to says for a PM service, they're going to charge $440 to $479. Just the same, their labor rate, which is included inside of that PM service, is $119 an hour. Now, that $119 an hour goes for whether they are doing an oil change, a PM service, or uh, whether they're doing anything. Every anytime they're working on your truck or diagnosis something, boom, it's $119. Every time that clock ticks past an hour. All right, what about different shop? TA Petro, $463.92. And they charge $120 per hour in labor costs. And just the same as the other one, the labor price is included inside of the PM. So they're charging a little bit more than Loves does. TA Petro does a better job, in my opinion. Um What's up? What about our carrier shop? Um, these are based on prices off of my truck. But our carrier, they're uh, currently, the where I'm leased onto, the USA Truck Network charges $350 for full PM. Their labor rate is $70 an hour, which is much better. But they only do bolt-on maintenance stuff. For example, uh, PMs, brakes, pulley parts, uh, wheel seals, things like AC compressors, alternators, and they work on APUs. Uh, they don't crack anything open. It's basic 10-level maintenance for the entry-level type tech. Um, they run a basic Jiffy Lube type operation. Cheaper than, you know, the other places. Cheaper than a dealership. But are they the best? Let's see if we can beat that price. Let's crunch my numbers here. So, uh, get my big head out of the way here. So, a drum of oil is $550. $550. And that is for, and I have 11 gallons per PM. That's five PMs at $10 a gallon. Gives me $110 uh, for oil per PM. My filters, I got three. $42.79, $65, $50 for a total of $157.79. So, and two tubes of grease to grease the entire frame of the truck and the fifth wheel comes out to a total cost of $200. $77.79 for me to do the PM on this truck that I'm in right now. This beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery that we all love and call Shelly. That is our home away from home. Not too bad. That's a lot better than everybody else so far. So how much does that save us per year? So if you do your PMs uh, like me, based on the previous equation, that lasts approximately six months based on a 20,000 mile PM service. Love's charges, let's use Love since they have the highest number. They charge $479. I can do it for $277.79. Take $479 minus $277.79, get $201.21. So you take $201.21 times 12 gives you $2,414.52 in savings in one year in PMs alone just by doing it yourself and not giving it to the speed codes or the TAs or the Petros or the dealerships. Boom, that right there pays for your entire year's oil for the following year and probably the majority of your oil filters. It all, the savings pay for your basic maintenance. 
So why would you give that money to these other places? This stuff, all it takes is a little bit of learning. If you're not comfortable with it, or you're, I get it. That's fine. Find you a good, reputable shop. We're going to cover that next. So, where do I source my materials from? Uh, number one place, I sor- source my parts from my local Napa. Not only do they specialize in automotive, but they also uh, do heavy equipment, CMV parts, and I can get order any tool I need usually. I find greases and fluids. I source from Rule King and Tractor Supply since they allow me to buy in bulk and ship to either the store or my house. Do you know how convenient it is to have a 55 gallon drum of oil just dropped off in your garage while you're gone? It's great. Okay. Um, I also search uh, uh, filters, parts on eBay and Amazon if Napa does not have them or the wait is too long. And the very, very last thing I will do is I will ask my dealership. Okay. The dealership parts are always more expensive. Um, There's nothing wrong with sourcing parts from eBay, Amazon, Napa. There's nothing wrong. As long as they fit your vehicle and they do the job, there's no reason to spend the extra money unless you absolutely have to. They are my last resort. So should I buy over the road or local? Well, when you shop places over the road, you'll pay a premium for those parts and those tires. That's just the nature of the game. I will always recommend that you build relationships uh, with your shops and distributors and your your local mechanics. Not only, and at the end of the day, not only will it save you money, but they will also take better care of you. There has been multiple times in the, the out west, realize, hey, I got something that I need to get done. And I call my local dudes back home, be like, hey, can you schedule me in? Or, hey, can you get me this part? And guess what? They do. And it's cheaper. And I can usually bypass the wait time of 5, 10, 20 hours sitting at a TA Petra or a Loves in most extreme situations. So in summary, it's always better to build relationships. Better rates means more money in our pockets. We can't be profitable when we give it to these overpriced shops and we have the ability to do it ourselves. Educate yourself and know your equipment and do what you can do yourself. And by doing that, you will be able to cut your maintenance costs and do this all yourself. And with a little bit of time, education, some good references, and a little bit of Q&A, y'all can do this. It'll save you. Just, and this is just talking mate, the basic PM services. Imagine how much better it will be when you get yourself established and your business established and you can start doing some bigger stuff and start going to these courses and going to these classes. Invest in y'all's business. Y'all quit giving your money to these other overpriced shops. And if you can't, if you don't want to learn to do it yourself, find you a good, honest shop that will take care of you and has a valued reputation. Word of mouth is a wonderful thing. It'll tell you where to go and where to stay away from. So that's it for this one, y'all. I love y'all. Drop a comment down below. Give us a like. Consider subscribing. And especially if this added any value to your day.